Hello everyone, this is Lighter Prime. I'm back with our Bat on Bats opening. Today's opening, we're going to be doing one that's been in the background for quite a while. We're going to be doing my third collection, Legend Collection Pack. I can't wait to open this one. This one's been in the background for quite a while. The back. Here we're going to get a, a Hail Cycloid of Pyre's Artillion, which I'm finally glad I got. I have other Artillions, but I don't have a Pyrus. And even though this is not from Geodon Rising, it's still good enough for me. So I have all the Geodons from the awesome ones. We get a Nova Pyrus Nilius. And we get a Hy an Aquas Hydrus Ultra with Battle Deer. These pads I like. They're almost as good as the legend pads, the one that gives you everything from Bastardon, Battle Planet, Armor Alliance, Geodon Rising, and Evolutions. You guys know the one. Anyway, let's let's talk to you. more opening. Ooh, I just scratched the battle, the battle deer. Should have used smaller scissors, but I can't find any. Okay, all the Bazidon are done. I mean, out. <laughs> now let's check the cards. Hey, let's go with the tours first. Okay, looks like we got two fire. We got two fire fist cores. One gives 250 B power, one gives and three damage, the other gives 150 B power and four damage. So one's a hundred higher, less damage, and one's more higher and 100 less power. As we did in two normal shields, both negative 300. 
And then we did a Green Fist, which is 100 B power and 3 damage to a Pirates and Hails. And then a 600 Standard Magic Shield. Okay, that's the date cards. We did date card number 10 with Artillion doing Soaring Strike. 500 for Pyrus, 200 for Aguas, nothing for Ventus, 400 for Hales, 100 for Orlis, and 300 for Darkest Magic Shield. We done another. We done another number twenty-seven day card of Princess Orb being blaze in a blaze by Nilius. Three hundred for Pyrus and Aguas, one hundred for Ventus and Hales, two hundred for Orlis, six hundred for. Darkest and a normal sh shield. Then let's get to the Batudon. Okay, first we start off with Hydras. Love the look. I know this is his Armor Alliance form, but they're using the ev evolution colors. He did two normal shields. And he has two normal shields. 600 B power, two damage. Lands on a normal shield. Play a battle deer for two less energy toss. I know it doesn't say two less, but that's how it is. That's how some people are saying it, and I'm going with it. Moving on. We did we did, we did another lion, sort of. Artillion and wow, one energy toss. He's gonna to be my most useful shield on for Pyrus. It used to be Tallow Flame, but I mean, Tallow Flame. <laughs> Sorry, I meant Talon. <laughs> so I don't know why I said Tallow Flame. He's a Pokemon. Anyway, this is normally where I'm most useful. Energy, I mean, B Power is 900. Two, two damage strike. I mean, two damage and the Animal Fire Fist. Take, remove a core from an enemy. Next, we have Pyrus Nilius. Two Fire Fists, 800 B power, three damage, no ability. Do love the, the work. Next, we have Wings of Aquos. I think this is Hydra's is Battle Deer. This is definitely different from the one I have. Probably, they probably just did the artwork different because the one I have has a different ability and it's on a st stone tablet. Okay, just not stone tower, just stone. Anyway, two energy toss, which is a lot less than the one I have. Normal shield, add a core to the field. 300 B power, one damage. Next we have Cycloid. Magic shield and green fist, 600 B power, three damage. Lay on the green fist, 400 B power and four damage. Not bad. So by that standard, let's start with side plate first. Same design as the one I have. I got an orless one. Well, of course, not like they're going to redesign the whole Bajudon just to change for the new series. Okay, since his. Since his core is a, if he lands on the green, so he gains more power by a green fist. That means he should. I'll just use this one for a standard. Since that's what he came with. If he lands on this green fist, he'll gain an additional five. He'll gain an additional 100 to 700, but then with ability, he gains 400. So that's a total of 1100. And for Green Fist, since this then this core helps Hales and Pyrus, it'll be it would be I believe it's ten damage. I can't remember the other Green Fist cores of what they do. I or their Pacific power of bonuses. So I'm just going to do with these. 
for but that would be a that'd be a beefy power he did he has 11 b power and 10 damage providing you can if you play a core manipulation okay moving on let's go with hydras love his design he has manual parts mostly he has just his bad legs now let's put on the wings now how Oh, that's how. There we go. Kind of awkward, but it works. Then we add a little, uh, I don't know, <laughs> gauntlets or. I don't know what these are. I've seen them on a bunch of other Batu Don. And there's Hydras. It's a little batch heavy. Yeah, I didn't put it right. But that's what it goes with. Anyway. Unfortunately, the or the no the normal shields aren't that good, so I'm gonna go off what I remember, which I hard to because I got a lot. I know a, or there's a normal shield that gives 200 B power, so I would go with that. So if a hydra's lands on this, just pretend just pretend this one's a, a power gives 200 B power. And Hydra's lands on normal shield, that would give him 800 B power plus using this ability would give Hydra's an additional 300. So that'd be a total of 1103 damage. Now, I don't know that if you play this card while Hydra's is opening, it has. A battle deer attack. I mean, I don't know if you need to have a new role to use this ability, or if it's a bit activated when it are or is triggered when it's already on him. If anyone knows, please give me a leave a comment down below to tell me. But if it does, like he already has his core on him. That means you can attach like a magic shield to him, giving him a total of of seventeen hundred B power, or seventeen fifty, because that's the max one for magic shield. In a way, I like Hydras. He's good. Next, we have Archilion. Since his ability works for a green for a fire fist, I think the most most would be like that means he can remove a core and his match B power if you lay on a fire fist is eleven fifty and five damage. Since he's nine hundred and has only one energy cost, he's gonna be really useful for my deck. Next we have Nilius, the final one. And we remove the tag. Eh, doesn't light up as the others. Oh, well. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, for a second, I thought that was like a spring. Of course, since he's a Nova, you, I remember that he, most of his body is, to, is this because they need space for the battery. Which means I can't wait to in the future when I open that guy that's base is 800 so if you land on a magic shield 
he'll give you fourteen fifty on a fire fist, which is his prime. It's a hundred and fifty and six damage. Let's try my luck and close and and seeing if I can roll this guy. My rolling steals aren't that good. I believe I spent half the video just trying to. Figure out how to roll these dice right. There we go. Three, two. Okay, three, two, one. Fail. Fail again. There we go. I like it. I really like it. Nilius is cool. I'm. I saw the trailer for Legends a while back, and I saw how. Well, don't really know how. They don't explain how they evolve into like Nova Batugan. I'm sure they'll explain it. And they'll explain how Nilius got from three heads to his two headed form. Again. That's pretty much it. Is this pack worth it? I believe so. Has some good cards, has some good Batugan. So, yeah, I think it's worth it. Then in, in, in all my videos, I say that any Batagon is worth getting to increase your collection or might help you in the, in the battle. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit notifications so you don't miss out. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next time. This is Lighter Prime signing out.